these 14 steps that you're about to walk, you do not take alone. I walk with you. Though you are you and I am I, we are truly one. Therefore, my way of the cross 2,000 years ago and your way now are one. But note this difference. My life was incomplete until I crowned it by my death. Your 14 steps will be complete when you crown them by your life. in the garden. Jesus brought his apostles, Peter, James, and John, to the garden called Gethsemane and told them to sit down and wait while he went to pray. He told them he was very sad and asked them to stay awake with him. He went forward a little and kneeled to the ground and prayed. My father, if it is possible, let this cup be taken away from me. But I want your will, not mine, to be done. The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. Jesus' friend 
Judas became afraid, and he turned his back on Jesus. Judas turned Jesus over to the Romans, who wanted Jesus to be crucified. The Roman guards took Jesus to Pilate the judge, who said, What shall I do with Jesus? The people yelled, Crucify him! But he said, Why? What evil has he done? They only shouted the louder. When Pilate saw that he was not succeeding at all, but that a riot was breaking out, he said, he took water and washed his hands, saying, I am innocent. Look to it yourselves. If we had been there, Jesus, we would have begged Pilate to set you free. We would have yelled, let him go. He is a good man. We are so sad that the people told horrible lies about you. But we weren't there. We are only here now, remember. If someone started yelling at me for no reason and telling lies about me, would I be brave enough to speak up? Jesus chose to stay quiet and to trust God. He knew that God was with him, even then. For God never leaves us alone, never. Here and now, help me to have the courage to speak up if someone is being treated unfairly. Jesus, teach us how to follow you. Jesus carries the cross. The soldiers led Jesus away. They put a crown of thorns on his head. They beat him and made fun of him. Then they laid a heavy cross on his shoulders and ordered him to carry it to a place called Calvary. His whole body ached. He was so tired, he could hardly walk. When I am understood that Jesus made the choice to walk the road to Calvary, that he was doing this for us, would I have known what to do, or would I have been as lost and confused as the people who were that day? Would we have stood up to Pilate and the soldiers? But we weren't there. We are only here now, remember. Here now, what do I do when someone is wrongly blamed for something he or she didn't do? Jesus, teach us how to follow you.
The third station, Jesus falls for the first time. Jesus was so weak that he could not stand the weight of the cross. He fell to the ground. Perhaps as he lay there, weak and in pain, he remembered the words of Job. I have rubbed my face in the dust and it is red with tears. My breath grows weak and I can feel that the grave is waiting for me. But the soldiers had no compassion. Jesus chose to get up and begin to walk the road again. He did this for us, for you and for me. He did this out of love. Sometimes it feels as if our worries, fears, and sadness may weigh us down, like the cross there on Jesus' back. We may even feel too tired to go on, but we need to remember how Jesus never gave up. When he fell, he got back up. We can too, but we weren't there. We were only here now, remember. If if we had been there, Jesus, we would have helped you stand again. Your strength would have given us courage to come out of the crowd, even though the guards may have gotten angry. Here and now, help me to help others when they are in need. Jesus, teach us how to follow you. following Jesus as he carried the cross. Watching him stumble along, she must have remembered what the prophet Simeon had said to her. Mary, your sorrow over this child will be great. It will be as if a sword is piercing your heart. Now the soldiers allowed Mary to talk to Jesus. She had only a moment, yet there was so much she wanted to say. She looked into his eyes and saw love. Love for her, love for you. I love him. Without words, Jesus knew of his, of his mother's great love for him. He knew of her great sacrifice. He had learned so much from her about God's love. If we had been there, Jesus, we would have formed a circle around you and Mary to let you talk as long as you wanted. But we weren't there. We are only here now, remembering. Here and now, help me to share God's love through what I say and what I do. Jesus, teach us how to follow you. The fifth station, Simon helps Jesus carry the cross. seemed to be getting heavier with every step Jesus took. The soldiers noticed Jesus was getting weaker. Suddenly, a soldier came into the crowd and grabbed a farmer from Cyrene named Simon. The soldier shoved Simon over to help Jesus carry the cross. Have you 
you ever, like Simon, been forced to help someone? We must remember that we are here on earth to be a blessing to each other. We are the hands and feet in Christ, and we are here to do his work. If we had been there, Jesus, we would have taken turns carrying the cross, so that you would have had, had to carry all the burden. But we weren't there. We are only here now, remembering. <coughs> here and now, do I respond with all my heart when parents or teachers ask me to help with something that seems difficult. Jesus, teach us how to A brave and kind-hearted woman named Veronica witnessed Jesus carrying his cross. She went to Jesus and gently wiped his face. And thanks for her kindness, Jesus left a perfect image of his face on the cloth. The name Veronica comes from the words Fear Icon, which are the Latin and Greek words for true image. By this, we know that God chose Veronica for his very special miracle before she was even born. Jesus, would I have been brave enough to dash out the crowd just to offer you a little bit of comfort? If we had been there, we would have wanted to do what Veronica did. We would have wanted to wipe your face with soft, warm cloths and wrap your cuts and bandages. But we weren't there. We are only here now, remembering. Here and now, help me to remember that what may seem like a small act of kindness to me may feel like a big kindness to someone else. Jesus, teach us how to follow you. Walk, to walk this horrible journey? Could I have served my own pain to see what you were going through? If we had been there, Jesus, 
We would have demanded that the cross had been removed from your shoulders. We would have told the soldiers, can't you see he has had enough? But we weren't there. We are only here now, remembering. Here and now, help me to be present to for others who they need. Give me the courage to listen to others' needs. Jesus, she's just had to follow you. Jesus meets the woman of Jerusalem. A huge crowd is following Jesus, including some women who are crying and weeping for him. Jesus saw their tears and said to them, Don't shed tears for me. Cry instead for yourselves and your children. These women must have wondered what Jesus meant. He was the one carrying a cross, yet he was asking them to weep for themselves. They shook their heads in wonder, wonder as he was shoved forward. Would I have understood Jesus any better than the woman of Jerusalem? They saw Jesus bleeding. They saw the crown of thorns. They saw how much pain he was in. It was too much to take. If we had been there, Jesus, we would have told the woman, don't you understand? It's our sins that Jesus wants us to cry over. But we weren't there. We are only here now remembering. Here and now, help me to apologize for the pain I cause others for the selfish things I sometimes do. Jesus, teach us how to follow you. Ninth station, Jesus falls for the third and final time. <clears throat> Once, twice, now for the third time, Jesus fell to the ground. He must have been extremely weak to lose his balance. It was only his faith in God that kept him going. In the garden of Gethsemane, he had prayed, Father, let this pass from me but your will, not mine, be done. Now a soldier named Walmus forced Jesus up again and pushed him on his way. Later, as Jesus was being crucified, Walmus realized that what he had done was wrong. He asked Jesus to forgive him, and Jesus did. Walmus then believed that, tr that Jesus truly was the Son of God. If we had been there, Jesus, you would have not fallen again. We would have held you up and supported you in every way we could. We would have not let this humiliation go on. But we weren't there. We are only here now, remembering. If we had been there, Jesus, when the people in the crowd made fun of you and spit on you, we would have stopped them. You were in so much pain, we would have not allowed them to be so mean to you. Here and now, what do I do when someone is being bullied? Help me just stand up for anyone who's being made fun of and may need my help. Jesus, teach us how to follow you.
tenth station, Jesus is stripped of his clothing. By this time, Jesus was so weak that he was unable to resist anything the soldiers did to him. They cruelly ripped off his clothing and cast lots over who would have it. For his part, he made no resistance. Neither did he turn away. The Lord God came to his help so that he would be untouched by their insulting behavior. Jesus stood there, stripped and humiliated, waiting to be nailed to the cross. If we had been there, Jesus, those soldiers wouldn't have laid a hand on you. We would have never allowed them to touch your clothing or to humiliate you in any way. But we weren't there. We are only here now remembering. Jesus, if we had been there, we would have prayed to God the Father to make the soldiers stop treating you so horribly. We would have asked God, how can we help? Here and now, help me to pray for people who are hurt or sick, even if I do not know they are in need of my prayers. Jesus, teach us how to follow you. station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. The soldiers nail Jesus to the cross. Pilate had written a notice to be put on the cross that read, Jesus the Nazorian, King of the Jews. The leaders protested that Jesus wasn't the king. People only said he was. But Pilate would not change what he had written. Two men who were criminals were tied to crosses on either side of Jesus. One of the men, who was named Dismas, asked Jesus to remember him when he came into his kingdom. Jesus said, today you will be with me in paradise. Would I have been able to watch you suffer on the cross? Could I have handled the pain of seeing your mother cry as she suffered? If we had been there, Jesus, we would have said to them, Don't you realize who this is? He isn't a criminal. He hasn't disobeyed your laws. He's Jesus, God's own son. But we weren't there. We were only here now remembering. Here and now, help me to trust in you, Jesus, when I don't understand why something is happening. Help me to remember that you have good reasons for why things happen the way they do. Jesus, teach us how to follow you. Jesus dies on the cross. As he hung on the cross, he cried out, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they do. Father, in your hands I commend my spirit. After this, he died. If we had been there, Jesus, we would have held your mother and comforted her in any way we could. We would have knelt beneath it and prayed with you. But we weren't there. We are only here now, remembering. Love, you lived your whole life on earth in pure love to show us what the kingdom of heaven truly is. Here and now, help me to do all things in love as you taught us, even when it isn't easy. Jesus, teach us how to follow you. Thank you. 
13th station, Jesus is taken down from the cross. A man named Joseph from the town of Arimathea went to Pilate and asked for permission to remove the body of Jesus from the cross. He placed Jesus in Mary's arms and together they wrapped the body in a linen sheet. Filled with sorrow, Mary looked at the body of her son. She had loved and cared for him through his boyhood and had been at his side when he was a man. Now his life was over. If we had been there, Jesus, we would have wanted to do what Joseph did. We would have taken your body down from the cross with dignity and love. We would have comforted Mary and stayed with her. But we weren't there. We are only here now remembering. Here and now, help me to show others that I am yours by my words and by my actions. Jesus, teach us how to follow you. left her son there. If we had been there, Jesus, perhaps we would have helped carry our body to the tomb. Your strength would have made us brave enough to do the right thing. Maybe we could have put our own pillows and blankets beneath it to cushion your wounded body. But we weren't there. We are only here now, remembering. Jesus, are we there for people when times are the darkest, the most difficult, do we remember to put others' needs before our own? Here and now, help me to put aside my own fears in order to be their fathers. Jesus, teach us how to follow you.
you at the start, my life was not complete until I crowned it by my death. Your way is not complete unless you crown it by your life. Accept each moment as it comes to you with faith and trust that all that happens has my mark on it. A simple fire, this is all it takes. A breathing in your heart. I will it, Lord. So seek me not in far off places. I am close at hand. Your workbench, your desk, your kitchen. These are altars where you offer love. And I am with you there. Jesus has no body on earth but yours. No hands but yours. No feet but yours. Yours are the eyes through which Jesus' compassion is to let out to the world. Yours are the feet with which Jesus is to go about doing good. Yours are the hands with which Jesus is to bless all people now. Go now, take up your cross, and with your life, complete your life. For coming. I think I can speak for all of us when I say to you, boys and girls, thank you for that wonderful presentation of the way of the cross. We could tell through your actions how much you love Jesus and how grateful you are for everything that he does for you and continues to do for you every day. I'd like to also thank our teachers Mrs. James, Mrs. Turn, Mrs. Gallagher, Ms. Hansel, and Mrs. Hoy for everything they have done to make this Stations of the Cross so successful. So thank you, boys and girls. Wonderful job, and thank you all for coming.